Hello everyone, welcome to this Sanshu Math Part 2 of 2016. And there's a triangle question there. And yeah, see that there's a, there's a circle O which is inscribed in the triangle ABC. And you know that inscribed circle, there's a point there that is tangent to the circle. And it is named that it is the point of R and then the point of Q and the point of P. Then there's a tangent C sides of BC, AC, and AB. And from that, we should find the value of the first is AR. Okay, so now you have AB and AC, both is equal to 13. And you know that this is divisive by 2, right? If we divide the triangle there, okay. And then this is 5, this is 5, right? And then, we know that the identity of the triangle is that with the, with the inscribed circle is from the center to the point of the tangency, it is perpendicular. Same as this, this is the point of tangency from the center is perpendicular. Now, the, the another identity is that this side here is actually equal. So this is 5, this is also 5, and because this is 13, AR is 8. So you get that AR is a and now for number two find the sign of the angle of AOR now a o r is actually the value of the Pythagorean theorem here because uh, we don't know what is OR or even AO but we know that AP is 12 okay but because this side is the same okay now we can find the x here by the Pythagorean theorem. So 12 minus x squared equals x squared plus x squared, 64. And we expand that. Okay. So 80 equals 24x. So x is 80 over 24. And now sine a o r is 8 over 12 minus x. Okay, so this 8 over AOR which is 12 minus 80 over 24 it is 8 over this is 24 times 12 which is 288 uh, minus 80 is 208 times 24 right and this is 192 over 208 and we just you know simplify this we could divide it by 16 is 12 and this is 13 so sine angle AOR is 12 over 13 and now we could try to find number 3 the tangent of AOR now the tangent of AOR AOR is 8 over X 8 uh, X is 80 over 24 we just move that up 8 times 24 minus 80 so that is 24 over 10 which is 12 minus 5 then the last and the num part 4 we could find the radius of the inscribed circle O now the radius of the inscribed circle O is actually X right this is X that is the radius we got already X and we could uh, simplify it. We divide it by 8, right? That is 10 over 3. And now part 5, which is the scalar product of two vectors, A, B, A, O. So the vector, if you have dot uh, multiplication, this actually equals to the value of A, B, times the value of AO, times the cosine between the angle of AB and AO, okay? So from this triangle, we know that the value of AB is 13, and we know the value of AO is 12 minus X. Uh, 12 minus X is 12 minus 80 over 24. So AO is 12 minus 80 over 24, which is 200. 8 over 24 right if we divide it by 8 that will become 26 
uh, is that 26? 26 over 3. And then the cosine between AB and AO, which is this one, the cosine of this is 8 over 12 minus x. So that is cosine of AB, AO, is uh, 8 over 12 minus x. So 8 over 26 times 3, 24 over 26. So it is times 24 over 26, right? So this is, we can cancel it out. We can divide this. So 8 times 13, 104, okay? And now the last one, AB times BC is the same. The magnitude of the side AB times the magnitude of BC times cosine the angle between AB and BC. And AB is still 13. BC is 10. And then the cosine between AB and BC. So what is that? This angle here. And now let's just draw one more triangle. That we know this is 13. This is 13. This is 10. A, B, C. We want to find this, this angle here. The cosine of this angle. We can use the cosine uh, law here. It is 169 equals 169 plus 100 uh, minus uh, minus cosine of theta times 2 times 130. Okay, this is 0. Right? And then, so it is 100. 160 cosine theta equals 100. Cosine theta is 10 over 26. This is 5 over 13. So cosine angle is 5 over 13. So that is 5 over 13, which is 50. Okay? So that is for part 2 of Sensu Math 2016. Okay? And yeah, stay tuned for part 3.